Yeah, hi viewers. Well, here's the engine. It's the one I picked up from out bush and got it sitting here in my trolley. It's just waiting to be uh, torn down to have a bit of a look. See what condition this motor is actually in. So just having a quick look at it here. It's pretty complete, this one. And it's a CS Lister, CS for cold start. Six horsepower, 650 RPM. And the serial number uh, looks like 2945513. So someone out there might be able to date that, put a date to this engine with that serial number. So it's 2945513, I think it is. Anyway, having a look at this engine. In pretty nice condition overall. Bit of a crack on the timing, oh, it's on, on the valve cover. That's the result of it falling over. Air filter took a bit of a, a, bit of a hit as well. Everything's in place. All the push rods are here and everything. Still got a bit of paint on it. Still got Lister just visible here. It's missing the governor spring. Someone's improvised a screw or something to replace the missing pin. Missing pin on the fuel rack control. It's got a spare pipe here. And also I noticed that this engine can get a bit of movement in the flywheel here. But I won't force anything at this stage, I'll take it apart before I try and turn it. Decompression lever moves. So take this top cover off. Yes, it's got a lot of accumulation of dirt amongst the valves here. did get a slight bit of movement on the valves so hopefully they're not too stuck in there they should, they should come out all right anyway we'll just have a quick look here and I'll I haven't even taken any of these covers off yet so at this stage the bolts have been untouched loosen these ones off I know I've managed to prize it and here's a moment of truth we're just going to pull it off now there we go
right I've taken off the exhaust and inlet manifold and cover and all the bolts and things so this head is just about ready to be pulled off and I've just had a bit of a look at the valves just gave them just a tap of a brass hammer and and both the valves are moving so they should come out come out quite easy I reckon so all right next step is I'll pull the head off Right, time has come to pull the head off. Let's have a go. came off pretty easy, we'll just check the bore out later, see what condition that's in. Right, I'm going to take the barrel off now, so got a bit of tension on that. Just a bit more. Now yeah, the engine's just starting to lift up here a bit. So now I've got tension on that barrel there, and I'll just have to free it up a bit, so just use a hammer here and we'll try and get this thing moving. As you can see the engine's fully supported. And everything's just hang on by the head here. You can just see it's starting to move a bit here, so just Give a few taps. There we go. Look at that. Now just got to gently lift it off and support the piston so the piston doesn't fall and get chipped on the block. Righto. Once again, I've got the tire engine hanging off the cylinder here so that all that's holding is just a bit of rust bond and a bit of grease in here so I'll just give it a bit of a all right what I've got here I'll just put a brass rod in here and I'll just give us just a gentle tap to help it Yes, it's slowly moving out, so we'll get this out very shortly. Righto, the piston is nearly out, so the next step is just to uh, do the final removal. But in order to protect the piston, you've just got to maybe wrap some cloth or something, borrow the missus curtains or something like that. So when she's not looking, just grab the curtains off the, off the window and just use them and put them back so she won't notice. Here we go, I'll put this on there here. Because these pistons are very heavy and when they do sort of fall out they uh, get chipped and damaged. Okay, so hopefully that's enough. So we'll just do the final lift here. There it is. So 
So the next step is to remove the piston and all that and just uh, give it a good clean new set of rings and stuff and yeah should be okay to use. Yeah, high gain views. This is the tear down of this lister at the stage. So got the head off here. That just needs a good clean up and valves are free, they're moving, so I should be able to get those removed easy enough. Pull the barrel off. Had a bit of a look in here, it's a, one of the older type chrome line bulls. And the notice at the top. Just the top part here is some of the chrome lining is just worn out a little bit. But there's not much of a lip in here and and I think this barrel I can reuse this one. I'll just give it a hone out and for the amount of work that this engine's probably gonna do it, I think it'll probably be running okay with that. Ah uh, yeah, what's next here? The piston here. Just took that one off. Just a matter of digging out the old rings from the grooves, cleaning those up, but I think the piston looks pretty sound. The crankcase needs a good clean out. Get rid of all the muck and everything, pull the oil pump off. That's around here. The oil pump seems to move okay, but Anyway, that'll come off and it has a couple of little uh, check valves in there, little ball bearings and all that just needs to be cleaned out. It's probably got you know, a lot of old oil in there that needs to be removed. Okay, hell of a bearing here. This is on the end of the camshaft and when these listers seem to have done a lot of running, that brass bush in there wears out because I don't think this part gets very well lubricated. But there's not much wear in there so that it's a good sign, probably be able to reuse that one. And here's the, you know, the con rod here. And I've noticed that the big end bearing is probably knackered, needs to be replaced. A lot of play in that one. So that bearing is quite worn, so I'll get a new one of those. Anyway, I shall leave this video off now and, and uh, hopefully do another video of the next stage of putting the parts in and reassembling this engine and maybe getting this thing to fire up again. Alright, till next time, take care and we'll see you.